swear to God, this manga just loves to mock me. Up oh, Wedding Nerdigans, this is the one only Packer Girl 89. Today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for A Gravity Boys chapter 7 and 8. And I swear to God, this freaking manga loves to mock the hell out of me. It's not goddamn fair. Anyway, uh, maybe I'm being a mass kiss by reading this fucking manga still. But I said I'd keep covering it, so I'm going to keep going. Anyway, let's get to chapter 7 first and see what happens next. Swear to God, I swear, I wish the higher being would just fucking make Chris a girl already. Seriously, just do it. So chapter 7 is titled, The District uh, Sleeps Alone Tonight. Of course. I got some... Chris, you better feel fucking guilty. Oh, God. Warning already? Um, I'm coming in. Come on, Saga. Time to get up. So you're not waking up in that case. <laughs> this feature never fails to abuse me. <laughs> that, would not be, that would never fail to abuse me either. Each and every one of us, um, hold on a second. This is being slow. Each and every one of us is governed by physical and chemical rules. Um, even though I got dressed, I'm back in my pajamas and in bed. But don't forget, Gerald, uh, it's futile and contradictory. Don't forget, Gerald Zemlin. In the end, uh, the mis mysteries of the cosmos lie beyond each and every instance of futile contradiction. I need to pee. <laughs> what? Thanks again, Chris. Um, uh, you're always there to wake me up. Sure thing, I've been doing this since our academy day, so it's routine now. Back in the day after a fight, I saw that you would sleep the day away unless I woke you up. Besides, we're on breakfast duty this morning. I'll go make some co I'll go make coffee. Thanks, Saga. Hmm? Ew. Oh, what the? F what? Well, that's one way to censor. There's um, Fun Alpha Jumbo Big Book of Creatures number seven hundred sixty-five. Funny dog payment. This is so adorable. Okay, this creature lives in the uh, forest of Alpha Jumbo and is known as the cute as no for its cute appearance and. Um, the ribbon-shaped uh, decoration on its head. In, con in contrast to its apparent cu uh, cuteness, its soul is as black as night. Holy shit! <laughs> 185 centimeters tall. Oh my god! It's a trap. That's what that thing is. Ew! Uh, let's see. What shall I start with today? Repairs or monitoring uh, the area around the communications antenna? Hmm. What? What's going on out here? What is it, Papa? Mama? But my underwear's gone. <laughs> uh, oh God! Find out the Jumbo uh, Big Book of Creatures number three forty six. Uh, kind snake. Hold on a second. Just needed a second. Um. Uh, a very kind snake that lives in the uh, forest of Alpha Jumbo. Its general um, disposition uh, caused it to be um driven to the uh, brink of extinction but nowadays it's uh um wait uh it, uh nowadays its numbers are recovering it took you this long to notice oh uh, don't tell me you guys took my underwear you you animals no way Bubba. there is listen Bubba. there is not a soul on this entire planet scratch that there's not a soul in this uh, in the entire universe who would steal your underwear <laughs> holy shit that's savage is that bad you probably just forgot to bring your undies with you it's not a big deal more importantly, what's for breakfast, Chris? Guys, can you take this a little more seriously? Oh, that reminds me. I know Spa was making breakfast. All our food's gone. In the rec room, yeah? Hey, this is serious. The only logical explanation is, guys, you, you're sure taking this disappear uh, appearance a lot differently. Hmm. Come to think of it, I got, I'd completely forgotten about this when Baba started screaming, but when I went into my private bathroom earlier, uh, the place was soaked with water. With, with water. Okay, that's really bad, but I was in too much of a hurry to deal with it. Hmm? Hold on a second. The drinks I just set out are gone too. What? Huh? And so is the food I made. Hmm? And the equipment. Huh? And the spare parts. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck is going on? This goes way beyond someone messing around with us. <laughs> it's probably the higher being. Hold on, isn't, uh, it's possible this is all his doing. It's not me. He can talk to us whenever now. Did you take my underwear, though? <laughs> There's not a single thing in any reality steal your underwear. <laughs> Savagery. Ouch. 
And then that leaves just one explanation. Somewhere aboard this ship, aside from us, is something else. <laughs> you mean like a ghost? Hm. What a childish and unscientific conclusion to jump to, Chris. Uh, there's nothing to fear. Leave it up to my muscles. Cut that out. No, it's not that I'm scared. No nothing about this adds up. When you factor in the possibility of unknown phenomena and mysterious aliens, there's no limit to what it could be. Most likely, it's a wild animal. There's a high probability that it got in through the uh, shield and exterior walls that got cracked when we made our emergency landing. It's possible I've been making progress on the repairs, but there's still a lot of damaged uh, places and parts that haven't been fully sealed. Okay, then I'll go and see if I can find signs of an, any signs of an intruder. If it's still inside the ship, we should be able to run a bioscan on all the rooms and find it in no time. Um, in case it looks dangerous, wait until I join you and then we'll, we'll uh, deal with it all together. Keep your communicators on. Roger. Okay, the bioscanner is uh, all ready. We'll start with my room first. This sorry intruder's brush with freedom will soon come to an end. This isn't something an apology could clear up, but, um... Well, there's no talking it out with an animal. Wait, hang on. <laughs> We'll grant you the honor of being christened on, um, by Earth, the Earth Civilization. Wait, wait. That could go wrong. Oh, God. I, no. I, why am I in front? No reason. And put on some underwear, Baba. I already made plans to wear that, the pair that were stolen today. I refuse to compromise. God damn it, Baba. You're an idiot. Oh, God. I'll hunt this thing down no matter how long it takes. Un unidentified life form detected within the room. Ah, oh, we found it! Uh, we found it? Uh, Whoa, we, we got a contact sign on the team I can't believe it's in my room! So stay cool, but we all just gotta keep calm. For now, let's look at the image uh, scan of Baba and settle down. Um, Baba Zulage, uh, uh, Kivengat, um, age 19, height 194, weight uh, 124. That isn't calming me down. There's athletes, what <laughs> does athletes flaunt no underwear? <laughs> Wait a second. Look, the signal's so bigger than a child. Ah, oh, you're right. Um, that's why I, I'm, si I, I'm always saying we should pay attention to the radar signals. He well, what I did earlier was all intentional, but I guess it was in somewhat poor taste. It's not fair to joke like that when I'm the only one in on it, Gerald. Think about poor Chris. Excuse me? You really think we should wait for Saga and make doubly sure before we... All right, this is where it's hiding. It's going to pay for trespassing into my secret space. If it's so small I could just catch it with it in one hand and be done with it, I'm, I'm going to get it with one hand. I'll probably be so intimidated by us, I'll come right out. My eye! I, I, I can't believe how careless you two are. What kind of creature are we dealing with here? It's shaking. I see now, I probably just wandered into a strange place and is, is nervous and afraid. Just like us. It's okay, we won't scare you anymore. I, dang it, it managed to slip behind my glasses. Hey, um, hey, uh, did you guys make contact with the creature already? Saga? Yeah, I found evidence of the intruder. It's, um... Nothing like we expected. We're dealing with a dangerous and savage beast. I I'm just glad to hear you're okay, Gerald. What? Why? What's the matter? Um, this is nothing like I expected either. Based on the tracks I left, it's about the same build as Baba. And it got in by breaking through a wall. Holy shit. Come again? Chris! Chris? Uh-oh. Chris got kidnapped. That's no good. Maybe Chris will get turned into a girl. If that happens, thank fucking God. Ugh. I'm telling you, this manga would have been way more interesting and, pro and you could have played up the comedy more if you would have just turned Chris into a girl already. Like, jeez. Drive me nuts. Now we're on chapter eight. Hmm? What the? Hmm, this isn't the shit. Where am I? My memory's a little fuzzy. I remember waking up Saga and preparing breakfast with him and then something, I feel like something happened. Oh, Oh, yeah, something infiltrated the ship. Oh, God. Um, and chapter 8 is titled, uh, Three Trash Hyper Blues. Uh, shortly before Chris woke up, uh, uh, Chris! Chris was kidnapped? Well, we took our eyes off of him. Oh, I love the 2020 glasses! That, I, I, I see, see that, Marga. Well, we took our eyes off him for just a minute or two, and he was gone. Why do you have so many pairs of glasses? <laughs> do at times like this right our routine to recenter ourselves uh, oh yeah all right let's do it may our hearts always be weightless we are the gravity boys <laughs> oh my god the cheesiness 
okay, first for a rundown of, uh, of the situation, uh, leaving out the specifics, looking at this rationally, we can safely um, assume that Chris was carried off, um, uh, not by A, the creature we picked up on the bioscanner with a weak signal, but rather by B, the creature that left the evidence Saga found. That's right, Jerrold, it's important for um, astronauts to be able to focus. Going after it without a plan would be a bad idea, but not knowing what this creature wants, we can't afford to delay. We all have the biometric chips embedded in us, so if we just uh, check the reading on Chris's, shouldn't we be able to locate him? Yeah, but without satellite, the GPS feature is useless. If he's still within our radar range, we should be able to pick up on Chris's, sig uh, Chris's chip signal. Hmm, I thought you might say that, so I've already prepared the radar. As long as uh, he's not outside this area, we should be able to track him down. Chris! Whoa, hurry! If he leaves the range of our radar, it's all over! God, the target's moving pretty quick. If only we had our reinforced uh, Valtteri armor suits. We not, I didn't have time for that. Ah, there's a river up ahead. Doesn't matter. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> uh, Gerald, how's your stamina holding up? Uh, uh, Chris's life is on the line. You don't have to worry about me. I think they're, I think like part of them are still thinking that Chris is going to turn into a girl. That's why I feel like this vlog is just trolling me. Right now, um, thanks to this drug, I'm able to buff up my physical prowess and gain... Um, uh, athletic abilities on par with yours, but the cost of uh, using is is being vampirated for five days straight starting tomorrow. Nice, those side effects aren't so bad. We'll catch up to Chris in no time. Draw, Baba, the ground's... Oh, uh-oh, you're going to fall. Uh-oh. You saved me, Gerald. Uh, we couldn't just stop now. Yeah, we gotta save Chris no matter what. What? Oh, oh no, that fissure in the ground earlier caused a boulder to break free. It may not look like it, but this planet is actually ridiculously dangerous. Oh, at this rate, guys, just give me five seconds. Jerome, what are you thinking? Uh, if you drink any more of that stuff, please don't fail me now, Bobby. Ah, uh, don't be times ten. Jerome! After that, we pushed our, our way through an untouched wilderness. Um, he's over there. Uh, then, well, uh, then we'll go this way. Hang on to me. Uh, what a kind-hearted snake. Thank you. And finally reached Chris's location. The fuck? He's in there for sure, right? Yes, Chris's signal hasn't moved away from this plant. We've spotted it often since we landed on Alpha Jumbro. It must have a, it must be hollow and act as act, and acting as a nest of some sort. And as long as there um as there's uh, the signal, we know that Chris is alive inside here. Shoot, we're so close yet so far. Remember, we're dealing with some something ferocious enough in um uh to open up holes in the uh, ship's exterior, and there's no telling how many of them there are. Just look at the size of their nest. I hate to say it, but. It'd be reckless uh, to charge in there without our reinforced uh, Valtteri armor suits. We first need to verify the situation inside, and it, it attacks with a set of ten tentacle-like things. Shit, the Chris may have fallen victim to its tentacles. We need to think of a re rescue plan fast. What the? Uh, what are those loud uh, voices coming from? In uh, coming from inside? Uh, there's so many of them, and by the sound of it, they're all riled up and ready for blood. Oh shit! What? Um. Uh, crap, we don't have time to verify anything. Chris! 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 Uh, Chris! Chris! Oh my god, Chris is a king. What? Chris! Uh, Chris! They're just... Oh, 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 Chris, what? Chris, you came to rescue me. I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but... Before I knew it, I was sitting on some kind of throne. I don't really know what's going on myself. When I came to, they were already here. I woke up to find myself surrounded by them. Oh my god, they look they all look like penises. I th th they're intelligent life, but they're penis. They all look like penises. I'm sorry. Uh, like one looks like a, a one of those bo uh bomb bombs from uh Mario, but I'm not going to lie, the black uh, what the one of the black the black one that's in the front center uh center right, it fucking looks like a pe <laughs> a black penis. And the one next to it, it looks like a white penis. I'm not fucking kidding you. I think they're the first intelligent life forms we've come across on Alpha Jumbo, so of course I was cautious, but I don't sense any aggression or ill intent from them whatsoever. Um, when they finally calmed down, I, I took a look around, and one of them looked sick as though it had a stomach ache. Wow, they're uh, pretty easy to read. That's when I remember something. You know when we were taken to um, to the top of those giant leaves in the mountain um, uh, the higher being took us to not too long ago? Oh yeah, I remember that. I acquired a sample of all sorts of Alpha Jumbo flora and fauna from the leaves and tendrils. I happen to have in my pocket a sample of some medicine I concocted out of those materials. I thought maybe it was just what the doctor ordered. How well it ingested? And then, um, it worked like a charm. Oh, yeah, that's obvious. Okay, yeah, that's obvious. And in no time at all, huh? What's gone into you guys? Uh-huh. Are you speaking? Do you understand what I'm saying? 
Um, I, Amu, uh, Karisu, understand? Wait, whoa, uh, Chris, uh, Chris, Chris, where do you, where do you even, voices even come out of? Uh, Chris, 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 I'm just glad they don't see, uh, seem to view us as an enemy. I see, so that's what happened. You understand the draw, but how? And I wasn't uh, sure if I should ask, but what's up with your body? Oh, he'll be back to normal tomorrow, so don't focus on it. It's thanks to that reference book. Reference? Don't you remember the book the higher being gave us? You mean that space erotica book? <laughs> I'm reading that I deciphered numerous language systems from uh, different planets, but I also miscalculated how 90% of the vocabulary I learned would be uh, for body parts and obscenities. <laughs> Way to go! Using it in everyday co uh, conversation! Which is impressive in its own, right? Well, what did that guy say? Uh, it told me they came to say hello, huh? So they noticed a huge house um, go up uh, in the neighborhood. They came over to uh, to introduce themselves. Seriously? But it was so big that the kids were spooked and behaved badly, so they wanted to apologize for that. They didn't kidnap Chris. They only um, meant to take uh, him to their home to welcome him. Okay. Huh? In that case, we forgive them. Yeah, we do. But hold on a sec. Which one of then which one of them busted that hole in the wall and carried Chris off? Looking at these guys, I can't imagine um they'd have the straight to do either. Let me guess, it was this guy. Holy shit! Definitely this guy. They come in all shapes and sizes. Um, of course I'm glad you're okay, Chris, but I never would have guessed we'd come across intelligent life. Uh though back at the academy we were drawn with manuals for uh, all manner of events, and not one of them ever said anything about be uh befriending an aliens on uh, the day you meet. It's all thanks to you, Chris. No, it's thanks to science, and more than anything, your friendly nature. Oh my god! Still, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, there's his underwear! <laughs> uh, uh, what could it be? You're probably just imagining things. Alright, back to the ship we go. Yeah, so, the jump rows. Uh, a fun off of uh, Big Book of Creatures number one. A very friendly um, and curious species indigenous to Alpha Jumbro. It's common for them to consider things they find in the ship edible and then eat them. Uh, there's a wide variety of them. I'm telling you, that looks like a penis. <laughs> it totally does. Anyway, I'm really curious what you guys think. Like, this manga is just so meh. This manga gonna get dropped. There's no way this manga is popular. It is going to get dropped. Um, anyway... <laughs> For the love of God, just turn Chris into a girl already and make this manga, like, really interesting. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Gravity Boys content, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Friendly, and PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!